Hi, this is Robert from CTEC. I would like to introduce you to CTEC TBD, TBD as in to be determined. The module has two audio inputs, audio input 0 and audio input 1. The gain of the inputs can be adjusted with these two knobs, 0 and 1. TBD has two audio outputs, 0 and 1. The inputs and outputs can be grouped as stereo channels. You can control parameters of a running plugin with the CV inputs 0 and 1. Also, you can trigger sounds or modify parameters with trigger 0 and trigger 1. It has two potentiometers to control parameters from your plugin 0 and 1. The LED in the middle is an RGB LED which allows you to indicate the input level in green as well as the output level in red. Blue indicates activity on the web API. You can manually trigger sounds with these red buttons 0 and 1 which correspond to trick 0 and 1. Also it does have an antenna to connect with the Wi-Fi. Let's have a look at CTEC TVD's web-based user interface. Once you have booted the module, we create a Wi-Fi which you can join. Then you can access the user interface by using a standard browser and using this URL. You can change this URL if you want, for instance if you have different modules. Then you see two sections. You see a section for channel 0 and for channel 1 and the configuration. Per channel you can select different plugins. If you hover over the plugins, you will get some information about the plugin. Note that there are two different types of part plugins, mono plugins and stereo plugins. If you select a stereo plugin, for example the Freeverb, then you see that automatically channel 1 is disabled, because both channels work together as a stereo pair. Let's go back to a mono plugin. I'm selecting here a hi-hat simulation based on some noise shaping. You can go into editing the channel parameters if you press the edit channel buttons. Let's do that at a later point because first we want to have a look at the general configuration of the module. You can for instance change the configuration of the CV inputs CV0 and CV1. You can use a 0 to 5 volt range for unipolar control voltages and bipolar range for minus 5 to 5 volts. Anytime I make a change here, you will see the LED of the module blink blue. This indicates the persistence of the data. You can also see that for the potentiometer control, potentiometer 0 and potentiometer 1, you can chain, change the range from unipolar 0 to 1 to bipolar minus 1 to 1. You can apply an input noise gate to either both channels or only channel 0 and channel 1. Channel 0 can be mixed to be a stereo, that means that the output signal of channel 0 will be spread onto channel 0 and channel 1 each with 50%, or completely mix it with channel 1. The same option is available for channel 1. You can reconfigure your Wi-Fi settings if you want to have the module connect to a station and use your standard Wi-Fi credentials. Let's have a look at the individual channel parameters and channel plugins. For example, channel 1 has now been designed a hi-hat simulation. Let's change the parameters by clicking the Edit Channel 0 button. You see in the top part just general parameters of the noise shaping and then a loudness envelope generator and a pitch envelope generator. Let's turn off the loudness envelope to just hear noise. I can trigger the loudness envelope by assigning the envelope generator to trigger 0. You now hear a hi-hat. I can change the hi-hat's parameter, for example the decay of the loudness generator. I can assign the decay, for example, to external control, let's say potential meter 1. If I now go and turn the knob, you will hear a change of the decay of the hi-hat. I can also assign it to external control. CV0 has been assigned an external controller. So let's leave it at, at the initial settings. If I, like it, if I like my preset, I can just store it. Best hi-hat. I can reload a preset. These were settings I made before. 
Note that whatever preset you last stored and last designed will be the preset which will be assigned to your plugin on the channel once you reboot the module. This way you can make sure that every time the module reboots it's in a determined state so that you can use it the same way musically. Let's have a look at plugin channel 1. Here we have assigned a sine wave source. Let's change the parameters of the sine wave source. Let's disable the loudness, we just hear sine wave. Let's enable, re-enable the loudness and also assign a trigger. So now you hear a nice bass drum. I can change the decay parameters. I can change pitch modulation parameters. And here you go.